today I want to show you this one. Some of you must uh, know this. As soon as I saw it uh, available, I checked it on the internet and I was lucky enough I found it in a game store, a local shop. Uh, basically, it's just walking distance from here and I quickly grabbed one just in time for Christmas. Uh, today is Christmas Day, so let's open it. It's uh, not really sealed, it's just a loose plastic bag. The world's best-selling home computer reborn. This was my first computer in the 80s and uh, it's still quite expensive, the original one. Even if I can get the one, I don't have the uh, CRT monitor to connect. But this one is uh, modernized uh, using HDMI and USB and so on. Uh, it comes with Build in some games and I can switch between uh, game mode and Commodore 64 and Vic 20. So let's have a look. Uh -huh. It's coming with a full size keyboard. The plastic covering and this feel like the original one I haven't got the original one on my hand for over 30 years so I can't really compare very nice box comes with a joystick feel pretty solid and with a lot of buttons there's another box comes with a power adapter Australian power adapter and here is the USB connection the USB cable for the power and uh, even the H HDMI cable for the display is included and in the box is a small user guide uh, this is a, a quick guide a very short one just few pages in many languages and here is showing the port of the device and the uh, buttons of the joystick. Uh, the interesting part is that there's a extra button for menu. Uh, apparently uh, I can get the menu uh, any time and I will get some option so I have to try this. And here is a closer look to the Commodore 64. Uh, and you can see they are also uh, printed uh, at the side for the uh, special keys that's a characteristic of Commodore 64 and at, on this side there's a, a power button and three USB port at the back there's a, a USB power supply and uh, HDMI uh, output and another USB port here so otherwise there's nothing here so I've connected uh, the output with the HDMI cable to my TV and here is the power supply with the USB ad adapter here and the cable is not too bad it's quite long uh, and the joystick is connected with USB uh, at the side. Okay, let me turn on the device. Press the button at the, on the side.
Oh, something is coming up. Okay. Let's try the game mode first. Okay. I can press the menu button and see what happened. I can save it uh, or virtual keyboard or exit. Let's say exit. It's interesting to see additional information of the game, the author and the release year here. Uh, if I go down here, uh, I can do some setting. This one for the screen okay the uh, European let me choose this one and uh, there's uh, also a indicator showing the how to exit the menu here and go to that one I can pick a language at the moment is English that's fine and the other one is the setting so uh, Computer model, uh, uh, let's say PAL, boot mode, I can use carousel or the classic one or let's say in the game mode, leave it there. System information, that's fine. Switch to classic mode, what does that mean? Okay, this is an initial mode when I turn on the Commodore 64. So in order to leave this uh, text mode, I can press the key here and down here I can pick options. Then I can go exit to carousel mode, then I can continue playing games. Let's say I want to shut it down, go to here, shut down device, shut down. So, I am quite happy with the Reborn of the Commodore 64 with full size. I quite like it. But maybe for those who uh, don't have anything to do with Commodore 64, then this is a very expensive device. Uh, for the price, you can maybe already get a tablet, basically a computer with display. Uh, I'm very happy with the joystick, it's quite solid. I also like the, this button here, I can get a menu anytime so I can exit the game and go to other mode anytime. I'm only a little bit disappointed with the cable. I wish it's a little bit longer than that. Then I can sit back in the couch uh, and play games because the HDMI cable is not that long that I can move the keyboard away from the TV. I also have a problem with joystick. I don't know some of the games I I can't really control it. I'm not sure whether it's the hardware or it's the software or it's just me because I haven't used joystick for long 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 time. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye!